off-road. Today we're going to teach you how to install your rear seat rack. The rear seat rack replaces the two back seats and a four-seater razor. If you notice, included on this seat rack are handy tie-down points for ratchet straps or bungee cords. Also with your rear seat rack, you'll get two cotter pins, which we'll see later where they go, and also a plastic bottom for your rack so that nothing falls through. To begin the installation of the rear seat rack, the first thing you must do is remove the seats from the back of your razor. As you can see here, we've already removed one seat. If you've never removed your seat from your razor before, the way you do it is you reach back here, there's a small lever under the seat. You pull that lever up, tilt the seat forward, and then lift it up out. Once you've set your rear seat rack into the razor loosely, it's important to note that there are two different feet on these. The front feet have no hole in it, and the back feet have a hole that lines up with the pin that is used for your seat mount. To rest this in here, you need to push the front feet underneath the bars for the seat, the seat mount and then line up the holes on the pins for the seat mount and press down. Once that's seated in place, you want to take your cotter pins and put them over the slot on the, the pin for the seat mount. This will lock your seat rack in place. The next portion and the final portion of the installation of the rear seat rack is to place the plastic bottom in the seat rack. To do this, you're going to have to flex the plastic a little bit. Once you flex the plastic lengthwise, you can slide the notched edges into your seat rack and then allow the other side to fall, finishing the installation. Now that we've finished installing our rear seat rack, we want to thank you for your purchase. And from everyone here at Allegheny Off-Road, happy riding.